Tim Collins with Common Today. I'm coming to you from Common City Hall. We're looking at the Depot Park Master Plan. This is a master plan of what will ultimately become Depot Park. That's the area of Depot Park that we know uh, just north of the city downtown area. The idea is it will run from the Fest Hall area, uh, museum area, northward along 2nd Avenue northeast, past the police department, all the way to 8th Avenue which is the road that many people take to access Coleman City Schools, like the middle school, elementary, and high school. Now, before I get going, I want to let you know that nothing is approved by the City Council. There is no hard funding in place for this. There are no contracts that have been let for construction or more detailed architectural uh, designs for each of these phases. This is the broad brush rendered tonight and re revealed publicly by Tony Renta of Renta Urban Land and Design. It is the long-term, uh, big-scale version of what's likely to happen in this area. Ultimately, it spans from Arnold Street Northeast, bordered by 2nd Avenue Northeast, CSX Railroad tracks all the way to 8th Avenue. Now. I need you to be a little bit visionary if you're following along at home and open-minded. This area right here with the letter N, that is the parking lot that is behind Coleman Museum out in front of Fest Hall and the Farmer's Market. V is what is now known as City Hall. As we look at this, the first phase uh, will be in this area. And as time goes on, the phases will roll in all the way to the north. As I look at this plan, the one that strikes me as the most stunning is Area L right here. You may have already guessed what it is, but that is a proposed amphitheater. That's right, an amphitheater with what looks like tiered seating where folks are looking from the north to the south to a stage area. And that's also restrooms where you see the letter M. And just to make it super hip, it's surrounded by a skate park. That would be skateboards, roller skates, rollerblades. Ultimately, this will probably be the centerpiece of this entire Depot Park Master Plan. That's not in the works for the first couple of phases, but it's very fascinating. And uh, would put us on par of cities with much larger, much bigger populations, such as Atlanta, Dallas. Chicago, San Francisco. You'll see there's water features surrounding this area. Uh, it's very likely that there will be a possibility of a splash pad in that in that location. F is one giant playground and this is an open-air pavilion right here. The idea is to create a buffer zone of trees, berms, so forth along the CXX, CSX railroad line to block some of the sound. So that's the big picture of it. To get down here in the first few phases, it's a little bit more simple, but nonetheless profound. You'll recall that this area right now uh, has city streets that run there and there. It, it surrounds Depot Park now in the north and the west. Those roads will be removed to make way for W, which is a 20-foot lot wide giant sidewalk. J would be a 10-foot sidewalk. The idea is there will be no motor vehicle traffic anywhere. There will be sidewalks. G is a large area that is being referred to as the Grand Lawn. It's just like what you think it is. It's one big flat area of grass. Now, uh, adjoining this in these areas are going to be berm areas. These are earthwork that builds up and creates hills and it looks like in some of the areas it's going to be tiered. The idea is it allows parents, guardians, whomever to sit on these small hills and look to on what's happening out in the Grand Lawn area. I assume that would be great for parents who are trying to keep their eyes peeled for what their kids might be doing out there. Uh, United Way's building will remain the same, but the parking lot out front of it will go away. What in its place is going to happen is a tree-lined plaza for gathering and lunch. The trees will be lighted, it looks like, in this architectural rendering right in this area. 
And so this, the idea here is, is that's phase one. And one and one B has to do with Second Avenue Northeast. The whole expanse of that street. There's got to be a fair amount of changes for parking spots. Uh, looks like Mr. Rent has put in accommodations for trees, making it accessible where people can cross and get into the sidewalk areas. And it's just really to rehab that street to make it what would work with the entire concept of the park. Now, if you, we move off into the future and get these first couple of phases knocked out, you'll see that we're missing a police department, which would be roughly uh, in here someplace. The idea is, at least conceptually, to move the police department right here to the old city hall building where the fire department uh, will be vacating after they take a position up in their new north station number three on the north side of town. On the very end of the park in the future will be a recreational vehicle area. I assume that's for people who are going to be coming in out of town to enjoy the music, concerts, what have you, in the amphitheater. They can literally just park their gear, their trucks, campers, what have you, and away they go there. A is uh, called a recreational berm. It's, it's basically hills and pump tracks where people like to bike and exercise and explore. So you, you get the idea there. Ultimately, the utilities, like we talked about, will be changed along this, this street area. Uh, there will be access at these points here for emergency vehicles if they need to enter the park. Uh, bike path leading out down Oak Drive. Uh, it's been very well thought out. So that is the basic concept. That is what the Depot Park Master Plan ultimately entails. Now again, this is subject to change. I understand there's going to be a fairly large scale meeting of the powers that be uh, 10 days from now. And I imagine they'll get more into details on funding, uh, architectural design, and so forth. But regardless of all that, this is the first time that the concept for this has been visually rendered so everybody can see it and weigh in on it. Don't know if it'll end up looking exactly like this, but uh, as I said earlier, this would be a crown crown jewel for the city of Coleman. I can't really think of any 15,000, 16,000 citizen population cities that have something this magnificent. Uh, truly it is for something uh, reserved typically for a much larger city. So that's it from Combs City Hall, the first glimpse, the first look at the Depot Park Master Plan.